There's so much to think about when buying a sailboat that we intend to live on and travel in. Uh, so today we're looking at two more sailboats as our shopping journey continues. The Jeannot Voyage 12.5 and the Hunter 420 Center Cockpit. We're going to look at some more boats today with Josh. So, well, um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. And they're bigger than the usual boats we look at. So, yeah, let's go check them out. Yeah, I like that too. Well, Mom's gonna put me in that cramp bedroom, so I'm gonna steal hers. So this boat is the Jeannot Voyage 12.5. <laughs> it's actually a 41 foot boat. Um, and there's not a lot of information out there on it, so I'd love to hear if anyone knows about it. It was first built in 1987, um, 17,000 pound displacement boat. Um, it's made for ocean voyages. Now, it has characteristics to really tackle the Atlantic. Um, carries 119 gallons of water and 50 gallons of fuel, uh, as well as sailing. So let's get on board and take a look. So this sailboat has a nice teak deck, um, solar panels, strong rigging for ocean cru cruising, uh, a nice secure cockpit, um, plenty of room but not too much room for open oceans. And the story behind it is a family from Finland purchased the boat, sailed to the Caribbean, and had to go back to Europe for um, health issues. So the boat's here in Kima for sale, and uh, the saloon you can see comfortable and spacious yet everywhere you reach there's something to hold on to for a small child but you can also use that as storage and then this cabin over here they used as storage it has a little, little sink in there too mm -hmm. See, this one. oh and that this one too the big side galley and this is a traditional sea boat interior this is designed so that the galley and the head and everything is in the middle of the boat where the motion is the smallest. Oh, right here is this yeah, the, most stable. See, there's the mast uh, support, and then most of the boat where you're in this price range, what you're looking at is what you're getting for that kind of money. You're getting a heck of a boat. Yeah, there's some spots on the wood and stuff like that, but the good thing is it's real wood. It's proven. It's transatlantic, transpacific, whatever you want. And it's So I see the flaws, the blemishes, but then I see what you're paying for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a different package for sure. Hey there, I hope you liked that little tour of the Jeannot 12.5. Let's go look at the Hunter 420 center cockpit. But before we do, I wanna check on Nancy, see if her opinions have changed about the Jeannot. That's what they're doing. Hey Nance. Are you available for an opinion? Hey girl, what's that? Okay, third time's a charm. Let's see. Nancy, are you in here? Nancy? She's not in here. Nancy? Okay. Oh, there you are. Honestly, I didn't like it. I felt like it was a dirty old boat. It uh, just felt really nasty. Not something I really wanted. <laughs> dirty, they look good in the video. Yeah, but in real, pictures and videos are not a good, I don't know, they hide all the stuff. It was a dirty old boat, I didn't like it. This is the Hunter 420 Passage, the center cockpit model. So you can see that the seating is right in the center of the boat. The benefit is that it opens up the back of the deck for walking space and storage. This uh, boat is a 42 foot boat and um, it seems to be really known for its spaciousness, the comfort and the room available inside and on the deck. Let's walk around and listen to Josh uh, explain some of the details to us. So, 
What's the purpose of painting the decks gray? That's not paint, that's gel coat. Is it? And the reason is it's cooler. Oh, I was going to say. But also, it isn't so bright. I was thinking it might be warmer. Well, it's, it's supposed to be cooler. It is a little warmer. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. This area is fairly small too. Yeah. Check out my bedroom. Oh, I got a window here. Let me see if this can be. There are soft spots on the floor. Yeah, there'll be some in some boats. They Just use a uh, wooden to support a uh, hatch thing. or something, and sometimes those can get broken. You got soft or something. Yeah. I was expecting it to be a little larger feeling in here. No, because it's a center factor. So you lose the short. See, that's point. where the mast is. So a Mommy, lot is in this. You like that one? Because it's a Pullman and then I have that window. I, you can say breakfast is ready. I open my window <laughs> and I eat my bed. There you go. Breakfast that is ready. my plan. <laughs> Maybe breakfast is ready. How about dinner? Boy! <laughs> Maybe you're so silly. That's nice. That I like it. It's just a oh, chiller box? box or? Yeah. yeah. There's a box. stuff on the 387 so we can look at it but the engine space is harder to get to it's right in here and on the side but the big advantage of the older style center cockpits was that they were real big and you had lots of room but on the newer boats they're trying to maximize it has a microwave aft head A little dark in here. Yeah. I want it. It's got some weak spots. Why don't we buy it? The other one's mine. Y'all are way too big for mine. The other one is nice. I like the other one for you. This is a nice desk. Do some work. So I, I'm with them. I like the kettle any better. So Matt, what do you think? This is comfortable right here. Oh, yeah. Catch you later. Thanks Kaka, for the food tonight. Kaka. Is breakfast ready? <laughs> Please, guys. This is the dream. It's just the move on a sailboat, right? What do you like about it? Everything. It's spacious for number one. It's got a nice ladder. It has a nice kitchen. It has a nice room for y'all. It has a TV. It has a desk for you to work at. A desk for me to play at. Uh, nice sofas. It has a bell. The well, bell. The bell's not that one part, but so like my bedroom is so nice. That's the one bedroom I've been so happy with. Tell us your final thoughts um, on the 420. I like the inside. I'm not very happy with this space up here. It's not as comfortable, but I do like that back deck space. You're right. It's not as comfortable on the... I think I would much cockpit. rather get one of the other two to have that outside comfort space. So the cockpit is actually better than the back deck, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. The protection of the cockpit. Because that cockpit is spacious and you're going to be there when you're moving. Here's the thing though, you got like these as well. That's okay. These are pretty comfortable. Yeah, you got to drill the air and be careful. I see got like three seats, which is perfect for us if we don't want the cockpit. I mean, you know. And I think the inside's perfect for me because you know I'm going to be inside all day. <laughs> yeah, the 420, it's got this back deck, which is nice. Uh, um, it's bigger on the inside. The cockpit is smaller and maybe not even as enjoyable. Um, sailing. Compromises. Every boat. Every boat's a compromise. 
Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I'm so excited and appreciate uh, you watching. I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, whether you have experience with sailing or not, your opinions really help us think about um, the boats that we show in different ways. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Leave your thoughts in the comments on the Hunter 420. That was the second boat that we looked at. And the Genoa 12.5 Voyage. That was the first boat. Thanks again for watching. Are you available for an opinion? Okay. What do you want in your cabin? What's important for you? Books. Books, so you space for books, what else? Uh, I'll kindle my electronics. How about arts and crafts? Yes. Just talked about you opening up a shop, right? Yeah, no, but so I'm not close. gonna use these. These are just drawings, I don't so think I'm are, going to. These are your custom designs, those are great. Awesome, love you. I love it. It's small, but I like the back deck. I Matt does keep saying, we can do it, we can fix it, we can... Yeah, I don't want to start off just fixing. Did you hear my text? Fixing. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs>